Planes first came out, I didn't really focus on buying any of the diecasts. I liked the movie just fine, I just wasn't really interested in buying Cars diecasts at the time, and because of that, I just missed out on the planes. Unfortunately, uh, that's something I really regret now, as recently the price of planes diecasts have gone up into the stratosphere. With it looking doubtful that Planes diecasts will ever return to store shelves, with Disney themselves acting like the Planes movies never existed, um, you gotta get what you can find, you know? So, for my birthday, I asked my mom, uh, who usually buys all the cars for me for my birthday and Christmas and stuff, uh, to just get me any plane she could find for a cheap price. And I got this guy right here. Jan Kowalski. You can't even see his name. It's written on the side. It's been so long since I've unboxed a plane. It has been nearly four years. The last plane unboxing I did was El Chupacabra back in the summer of 2018. It's been a while. Anyway guys, welcome back to yet another review. Today we're going to be taking a look at Jan Kowalski from Disney's Planes. No, your eyes do not deceive you. This really is a review of a Planes diecast. Very very excited to add a new Planes diecast to my collection. Um, and hopefully I can get some more Planes diecasts before they are just completely unobtainable and ridiculously expensive. Jan here was released in 2013. Um, of course the first year of Planes diecasts, at least I believe he was. Yep, copyright in 2013. Now taking a closer look at the packaging, it's quite interesting. I really like that the Planes diecast card backs set themselves apart from the Cars ones. This was the style of packaging Cars was using in 2013 with this sort of shape of the packaging. I definitely prefer this shape and style of packaging compared to what they did for the planes here, but I like that they made it pretty different while still keeping it kind of the same. You can see that Jan here, a plain single, um, is actually on a taller card than a Cars Deluxe, and Pinion Tanaka here is a pretty large Deluxe. Deluxe boxes were really big in 2011. You can see Disney World of Cars. Uh, this of course is not Disney Pixar. Planes is not a Pixar movie. It was made by Disney Toon Studios. Got the Disney Planes logo down there. Jan's name on the side. Unfortunate uh, that it's very hard to see but there really wasn't a place for them to put um, the logo because it's all taken up by this really nice artwork with the sky and Jan who's so large he's cut off despite being a, a pretty small uh, plain, honestly. On the back, we have a character description, which is really nice. And honestly, looking at the back, just gives you an even better look at how strange the shaping of the packaging for these guys is. It feels almost kind of sloppy to me. If you look at the car's packaging from basically any year, it's very, like, specific with how it's shaped. This was just kind of like... Anyway, Jan Kowalski here has a description, which is great because... I don't remember who he is. All I know is that he was the Polish Wings Around the Globe racer. I haven't seen planes in a good long while. And I don't really remember Jan because I don't think he had any lines. He's just one of the background racers. Uh, they really didn't show that much of the Wings Around the Globe racers compared to like the World Grand Prix racers in Cars 2, which is appropriate because when the planes are flying, they're a lot further apart than like the World Grand Prix racers are when they're racing. International flying superstars compete in the exciting Wings Around the Globe rally. Jan Kowalski is known as the Polish prankster by his fellow racers. Everybody tries to keep this trickster on their radar. Collect and connect planes to playsets. Premium die cast with spinning propellers. I always found it so funny that they advertised the fact that the propellers spin. Like, shouldn't that be obvious? We have El Chupacabra, Racing Dusty Crop Hopper, Lead Bottom, Gunnar Viking, and Sunwing. Sunwing is a favorite planes diecast design of mine. That's one that I've got to try to get. Uh, out of all the planes here, the only other one I have is El Chu. I only have two versions of Dusty, uh, the Firefighter version and the Vitaminimulch version. And Jan here is only my second Wings Around the Globe racer alongside El Chupacabra. I'm opening him up on camera here because... When, when, when's the next time you're going to see me open up a plane? Come on. Honestly, though, I do want to try to get some planes online. Um, when my mom is buying me things for my birthday, she's usually buying them off of Amazon. Um, and I feel like Amazon tends to have higher prices for cars items than 
uh, than eBay. Definitely check around the internet for like a website that'll sell planes for a lower price. Maybe I'll check the Walmart website as well. Um, really hoping to get some more planes diecast soon. My next haul video, if I do it, hopefully uh, my next like unboxing haul will have a few planes in it. Anyway, here is Jan Kowalski out of the packaging. Very interesting shape, although I'm pretty sure this mold was probably used by some other planes. Uh, can confirm the propeller does spin. If I could just hit it, there we go. There you go. So the packaging is not lying. Uh, can't really see his mouth. For a second there, I thought the rivet on the bottom was his mouth. If you look at it from like that angle, it looks like he's screaming. But his mouth is down there. He's got a bit of a smirk. Of course, he is the Polish prankster, apparently. He is fully metal, it seems. Yeah, the wings are metal. They're part of the metal mold. Aside from, uh, no, this part here might be metal too. I thought that the, like, wheel uh, area was plastic, but I'm pretty sure that's metal too, just screwed on to the rest there. Usually on cars die casts, plastic pieces are screwed on, or no, sorry, no, this is plastic, this is definitely plastic. You can even see it bend and warp a little, yeah, that is plastic. Uh, just these two wheels up here, of course. He rolls uh, not too well, definitely spins a bit when you try to roll him, but I mean, he's, he's a plane, not a car, so it's not going to roll as well. Number 15 there, pretty, pretty nice eye expression. Um, pretty cool color scheme, of course, the Polish racer. Number 15 there, written on the wing. We have some stuff written on the side. Ryan, which I believe is his sponsor. We have some other sponsors here. Let's see. We have, looks like Hall, Aeroflex, Aeroflow and uh on his tail here i'm not sure if these are also sponsor stickers but i can't really make out what they say We've got the number 15 oh wait does it say something underneath the ryan logo yeah i think so i think it says like ryan aviation that's pretty cool i like how they do that logo you see that r sort of becomes an a and then the writing shrinks i think it says like ryan aviation or something along those lines. I must sound like an idiot throughout this entire review. I'm sorry that I'm not as good with planes as I am uh, with cars. Got those same uh, sponsor stickers on the other side. And we have some writing there underneath this tail. KS82410P. Uh, is that? That is also on this side. Also have a bit more of the checkerboard pattern from the wings. And there is a look at the base. Really nice that they painted the 15 on the underside uh, of the plane. They really didn't have to do that, but just nice attention to detail. And this, of course, is the part that connects to planes, play sets, of which I own none, but you could plug the plane in and spin them around. Really interesting. Again, that's another thing advertised on the back of the packaging for these guys. That, oh, you can connect the planes to play sets. Uh, really interesting to see that much advertising for play sets. The car's play sets, like, and when you're buying a car's die cast, they're never like, oh yeah, you could use it in play sets, you know? But they really did push pretty hard with the planes play sets alongside the planes die casts. Anyway though guys, thank you so much for watching. Pretty weird to be unboxing and reviewing a plane, but very glad to add another plane to my collection. I'll see you guys next time. And if I am to buy any planes, let me know which ones you think I should get and which ones are not obscenely expensive. I'll see you guys next time. Bye now.